Frankie, there's no way you saw a black flip. Adam, it's not gonna be here tomorrow! What? Adam didn't say that. What are you, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Adam's telling me black polar bears are real and rise and suit to fly the pulse from the science and meditation. Adam didn't say that, but yes, the school should rise with the flag and pause from what was Today's lunch, we subway, kernel corn, peaches, and chef salad. The second line will be baked chicken sticks. Today's weather will be a high of 40 degrees with a 100% chance of rain. We live in a world surrounded by technology, but only a tiny fraction of students learn how computers work or how to create software technology. Computer science provides a foundation for virtually any career, and all of our students can benefit from learning the basics. Tomorrow, during Wisdom Wednesday, students from our school will participate in the Hour of Code. For more information, check out this video. The Hour of Code. This is so cool. The Hour of Code. The Hour of Code. The Hour of Code. The Hour of Code. Your teacher says you guys are into it. We are. It's very awesome. has partnered with 30 public school districts across the country, including New York, Chicago, and Denver, to provide lessons in teacher training and writing. The largest education events in history. Organizers set what they called an ambitious goal of reaching 10 million students this week. Almost 15 million signed up. This week, I'm proud to join the students, teachers, businesses, and nonprofit organizations taking new steps to support computer science in America's schools. They've been so excited about it. You're learning and you're playing. I got it. I ran an hour of code that's easy to do. They're learning how things are created in a technological world, and that's their world and their upcoming world. Every district should do. Every district can do it. I'm actually seeing the kids in elementary school start coding, and this is amazing. I'm so excited! I'm actually going to code! Love it? Yes, I love it. <laughs> is coding super fun? Yes! If you can change technology, you can change the world. I challenge girls in every single country to learn one hour of code. Computer science can unlock the best opportunities in the world no matter where you are. Please help us get the hour of code to 100 million students this year. And my school's doing it. The Pequay Valley wrestling team traveled to Quarryville this weekend to participate in the 17th annual Mule Classic. Eight wrestlers participated in the event, three walking away with awards. Leading the way for the Braves was freshman Tanner Ball, who brought home a third place award at 106. This was Tanner's first varsity tournament and match. His record in the tournament was 4-1. Junior Austin Fisher had a tough tournament, wrestling a weight class above his normal. He finished the day 2-3 and brought home 8th place. Junior Donnie Brumel brought home the last award of the day, finishing 6th place. Donnie lost the eventual tournament champion and won a very exciting match to move on to the semifinals. He finished the day with a 2-3 record. The Pequay Valley Mesh Wrestling Team will match again on Thursday, December 11th, when they travel to Elko for a Section 3 battle. Match time is at 7 p.m. and come support your wrestlers. Attention, freshman class. If you are not at the class meeting, please be sure to see one of your op officers, Danny Byers, Cole Nordoff, Nate Cole Ovalick, or Brody Mann, or Mrs. Dorshammer to get your t-shirt fundraiser form. Uh, attention, seniors. The time has come for you to submit your baby pictures. 
please place your baby pictures in the box in the office. Feel free to submit any other pictures that highlight your educational career. Please be sure to include your name with each picture, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact Matt Mancuso or Tyler Ressler. Today is birthday. Happy birthday to Toby Zook. I know Frankie. He will never understand. They will never understand. We are super people. We will never be accepted for who we are. We are mutants. And yes, there are black polar bears. Have a good day.